Okay, welcome everybody to Project Next Generation Online. Uh, my name is Aaron Sievers. I am the technology librarian here at the Elmwood Park Public Library. And we are rounding out our series that we've been doing for the last couple of weeks on Kano coding kits. So uh, those, you may remember, uh, have been a lot of fun. And we've got one left to unbox and take a look at today. We are going to be looking at the Let's tilt that up a little bit. The Pixel Kit. So this is the one, uh, I'm not gonna lie, this is the one that has me a, a little like confounded as to uh, you know what it can do. Um, because it seems like it can do just about anything. Looking on just the features on the back of the box, it seems like it could do, um, you can, uh, well let's take a look at the back of the box. Uh, you can code this thing to run animations, to flash lights, there's buttons on the front that can be programmed to do different things. So this one definitely seems like like advanced, maybe intermediate level uh, compared to the ones that we've done uh, previously. So uh, speaking of which, previously, of all of the, uh, of all of the Kano kits that we did last time, uh, the last couple of times, they are all in the catalog and ready to be checked out. In fact, I think a couple of them are checked out. Um, so, let me just switch my mouse over here. Um, so you can go to, if you're, if you're watching us on YouTube, there is a link in the description of the video that will take you to this website. This is our PNG class website. And uh, it should take you right to today, so the title should say PNG Online. Kano Coding Kit Unboxing, and that's where all of these videos are. Um, and I also put in, so you can go back and watch all the other uh, all the other videos. Leave us a little feedback with this quick survey down here, if you would. But also, I put links in the uh, in this spot right here to all of the different coding kits. So we did the the Frozen. Uh, Frozen 2 was the first one that we did, and we did Star Wars that same day, and then last time we did Harry Potter, and so today we'll do the Pixel Kit, and that should finish things out. And then of course, if you need a Kano PC laptop, you can get a laptop to run all of this stuff to you know plug it all in. So I've got a Kano PC laptop today, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started with this Pixel Kit. So let's do this. Uh, just want to make sure my microphone is working because it likes to trick me and it looks good. So hopefully all this is coming through. I'm going to go ahead and open this thing up. I already cut the tape, so I'm sorry if you were hoping for a true unboxing. Uh, but, you know, sorry. <laughs> all right, here we go. What do we got up top here? They always put in lots of booklets and stickers and stuff like that. So this, I'm already noticing, is um, a much thicker booklet than we had last time. So that makes me a little nervous. Hopefully we'll have enough time for all this. Let me switch over. Hey, hey there I am. Okay, so, um, so here we go. We've got the... Can you even see me? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, we've got the booklet. So let's just go ahead and get started. So it is... Okay, we'll set that aside. What everybody wants to know about is the stickers. So we've got some pretty good stickers. Oh, even better stickers. Some pixel art. I like those. Those are cool. Hamburger. Rainbow. Cool S. <laughs> I don't know. Pizza. Alright. All the basics. You know, all the important stuff. Uh, we got some information from social media. whatnot. Some regulatory info. So that's that. Alright, what's under here? Let's take a look under the, oh, okay. Okay, so right off the bat, this is just a giant panel of LEDs. So that's every single one of those little squares is a light um, and it's going to light up and that's nuts. That's a lot of LEDs. <laughs> All right, that's cool. What else we got? What else do we have? Let's see, we got some buttons. These are just kind of like, uh, looks like a dial here. Some push buttons. A battery, this is a battery. And then we have some casing, some housing. 
some cables. So I guess all in all this thing is kind of simplistic, but still a little bit intimidating. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this instruction manual. <coughs> Let me see if I can find a good camera angle that's going to kind of show off everything we want to show off. I wish I had uh, overhead. I'll have to work on that for next time. Um, okay, yeah, well, let's let's switch over to... I want you to be able to see what I'm seeing. So there we go. All right, so let's get started. All right. We got Judoka, our Pixel Pal, here. Uh, it's going to help us learn how to build and code this thing. So that's cool. Um, so yeah, basically running through the inventory of all the stuff that we just pulled out. So that's nice. Um, we got a case. We've got a filter. Oh, I'm glad because I actually think a lot of times uh, These things are too bright. So I'm glad there's a little bit of a filter to diffuse that light. That's good. It's too much uh, All right pixels and lights are everywhere. And that's true. Yeah, so when you think about it uh, We do a lot of classes here in PNG back when we had like in-person stuff uh, a lot of LED uh, uh, classes which are a lot of fun LEDs are so much fun to mess with but these are a little bit different in that they are uh, they are like soldered directly to this board and they are wired and hooked up and ready to go a lot of the LEDs classes that we did uh, were we were messing around with loose LEDs I should have pulled one of those out but you'll just have to sign up for one of our classes once we uh, get them again and we'll, we'll play with them ah so I was asking earlier how many LEDs that's 128 eight rows of 16 or 16 rows of eight however you want to look at that uh, then we got the brain all the all the microchip microprocessors all that kind of stuff are on the back so let's take a look let's take a closer look at this so we've got a battery compartment we've got three USB ports which seems like a lot of USB uh, ports this right here is uh, this rotates so I can spin it with my finger. This is called a potentiometer. Um, and this lets you do all kinds of stuff from, think of it like uh, turning up the volume on, an, on a volume knob and, and all the stuff that would go along with that. Then it looks like we've got a button over here on the side that already has a, that already has a thing on it. Uh, oh, that's a switch, I'm sorry, not a button, that's a switch. And then it looks like we have another button back here and two buttons here. So that's pretty cool. Just checking it all out. Okay. So let's keep it going. All right. So, yeah, we just scoped out the back. You can talk to the Lightboard's brain using the Kano app. So that's what we've got the, the Kano laptop PC, which I should go ahead and uh, I should log into that thing. So let's see. So this is the Kano PC laptop that you're looking at. The super top secret password is PNG. Don't tell anybody. Or tell everybody. So that's going to take a second to get to get logged in, which is why I wanted to do it early. Um, all right, take control of the lights. Light emitting diodes, that's what LED stands for. Um, so, OK. I'm probably I'm pretty certain this isn't going to show up on camera because I can't even see it with my naked eye here. But uh, according to this, uh, hidden within each LED are three tiny lights: a red, a green, and a blue. Uh, and so you can use those three colors and mixing them, matching them, turning one off, turning the other one on, to basically um, produce just about any color using a combination. So, uh, well, okay, just about any color, that's not true, because right here it says 16.7 million colors. So that's a lot of colors, but it's probably not all the colors, right? But for, like, for our intents and purposes, yeah, it's probably good. All right, we need some buttons. All right, so we're, we're getting ready. We're, we're, we're smack. Oh, I just realized we're on the ca wrong camera angle. You couldn't see what I was doing. All right, we're getting ready to, to, to snap this thing together. So we're gonna take this, uh, we're gonna take this board, 
And we need some buttons, so we're going to dig those out of this foam. If I can. It's a little bit... Okay. <laughs> so the buttons have a little... Uh, have a little peg on the back. They just kind of pop on. That one's got a little business on it. Okay. It's a good click. Can you hear that? Pretty good click action. All right. Next button. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Well, almost had a, we almost had a situation there. Dropping buttons. All right, now we got double click action. Not bad, not bad. Uh, what's next? So we got the red buttons on. And it says push them firmly in place. And I thought that I did, but I'm going to push them a little harder. Okay. They are firmly in place. Okay. Oh, that's not a button. That's a joystick. That's exciting. That's very exciting. So, whereas... Where can I hold this up? Okay. So, whereas these buttons right here just go up and down. Click up, down, up, down. This one over here on this side I'm gonna stick this thing on hang on there's a there's a specific shape here I want to make sure it gets on there so now this is like the d-pad on your Nintendo right so it goes up well ah there we go now, it doesn't really feel I guess I can feel it a little bit uh, what the gamers would call a good throw it doesn't have great throw it does click hear that um, and I can feel it rock back and forth so that's hopefully that's all the direction um, and whatnot let's see do we have oh that's what I'm looking for hi <laughs> okay let's get back over here though all right so we got the uh, the joystick it moves up, down, left, right, and it clicks. Yeah, so I, I definitely felt that. I don't think you're going to be playing Super Mario Brothers on this thing with, like, high responsive, like, that's probably not happening, but um, but I'm interested to see what we can do with it. Okay, last thing we need is the dial that's going to go over the potentiometer. So if you take a look at this, you'll see the potentiometer... Uh, is not completely circular it's got kind of a half moon shape to it and then on the inside of uh, this dial it's got the same thing so we're gonna link that up we're gonna make sure those fit together and that that just kind of slid right on so I don't know if I need to do anything more than that but I think we're good so okay we got that attached we're doing pretty well so far. All right, it's battery time. So let's take this battery out of its plastic. Now this looks to be like a lithium ion battery. We can read a little bit about it here. Yep, this is a lithium ion battery. It is 3.7 volts. 1500 milliamp hours so that's super exciting all right let's go ahead and slot this thing in so we just want to make sure we got some uh oh wrong camera angle we got some some copper connectors right there and we got some copper connectors on the what's a little bit difficult but over there right there so we're just going to line those up and make sure everything snaps in place. Maybe. Maybe it'd help if I actually paid attention to what I was doing instead of looking at the camera. Oh, I see a little power light. Turn it on. And our, whoa. Check it out. We got a website. Uh, my potentiometer here fell off. I don't know what that does. But I'm cranking it. <laughs> uh, so it seems like when I turn it one way, I get... Is that... I can't tell if that's timing based or if that's based on what I'm doing. I get the URL if I go all the way to the left. And if I turn it all the way to the right, I get this. So that's pretty cool. It's, it's pretty bright. Very bright. Okay. Oh, it's changing colors. 
Oh, I don't know if that that doesn't really play on the on the camera. What about uh, what about here? You get any of the changing colors? It's like kind of greenish over here and kind of bluish over here, but it might just be blown out on the camera. Uh, okay, moving on. We got power. Uh, okay, now we got to put the case on. So, well, this is pretty pretty simple because we've got two holes and a hole on that side. So I'm assuming that's the front. And then, uh, where'd that, where'd that, oh, the other part was right here. So then this is the back case, and these just look like they snap together. Ooh, oh, and a lanyard. Just in case you want to play Wii Sports. Um, and then these look to be like a uh, mounting hole. So if you wanted to, like, mount this on a wall, you could put two screws here, and it would slot right down on that. So that's pretty neat, too. So we'll just go ahead and put this right on top. Make sure it slides over the potentiometer, the dial, and get all the tabs in place. I can tell this tab is not, not in the right spot. I'd love to hear a nice click. Something over on this side doesn't seem right, so let's take a look at it. All right. Oh, I just pressed a button. Okay. I was hoping for a nice, satisfying click, but uh, it does feel solid now. So, we should be good. All right. So, check it out. We got it all... So, I'm noticing, like, I accidentally pressed a button a couple of times, and it, and it did some stuff. It changed colors. I don't know how... Whoop. <laughs> this is a lot to, to keep track of, but... Yeah, you can kind of see some of the stuff that it's doing. Let me set it I'm a little more flat. Yeah, so that's not a reflection that you're seeing. That is the lights are pulsating and moving and stuff, and it's doing all kinds of stuff. It's very mesmerizing. I'm, I'm like, oh, I need to keep uh, going, but I kind of just want to stare at it, so it's hard. Okay, so we got the case on. We're good. Oh, and here's just more detailed information about how to put the case on, and etc. And etc. Okay, so oh well, it's like turn it on, but it's been on the whole time, buddy. So this over here is the power button. I will say that the power button is super. I can't press it, or it might be permanently pressed. We're having an issue. All right, let's get into it. Let's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pop this off. I'm gonna move this all out of the way. Set it right there. We'll go back over here. We'll aim this so you can really see what I'm doing. But I want to pop this case off again because the power button is not. Uh, power button's having a problem. Oh, I'm an idiot. Nope. Power button's fine. Power button's not a button. Power button is a switch. <laughs> so you can press it all you want. Uh, and you're just wasting your time because it is a switch. There you go. You just slide it one way or the Okay, that's on me. <laughs> Sorry, Kano. Not trying to give you a bad review or anything. That's totally me. Okay, so we are reassembled. We are good. Things are feeling solid. Switch, switch it on. Switch it off. Hey, there we go. Okay. So let me pull out this manual again. And let me get this. I got a USB cable still in the thing. And I think that's it for the box. Let me just check. Yep, that is it for the box. So I'm going to set that out of the way. And uh, let's go overhead. Where'd you go? There you are. OK, so. I know everybody, uh, we'll, I'll try to keep that in frame at all time. Okay, so we are good. Turn the dial. Okay, so the dial has different settings. And I'm, 
and you line the dial up there's a tab right here it's clear plastic so it's probably a little bit difficult to see but you line that uh, let's do we're gonna need some picture in picture for this so you line that up with whatever graphic is on the dial so let's see we want to go magic mode that yeah that's lined up magic mode This is called light mode. It's not magic mode. I just made that up. I, but I, I would also like to point out that I was not too far off. So you've got light mode, uh, looks like game mode, and then and then a one, two, and three. So I'm assuming you can uh, you can uh, program those, right? So then we've got in the instructions here, we've got a thing that says we've got three different modes when you turn it to light mode. Okay, so there is the there's the Perlin noise, which I don't know what that means. Perlin, like Merlin with a P. Perlin noise, sound visualizer, and particle flow. All right, so to toggle back and forth between these, I think right now we are on the Perlin noise, uh, based on the colors. I don't know. Uh, because I know you can't, it really is blown out, but the uh, the colors on the display are very much like green and aqua. All right, so then we have a sound visualizer if I hit right on the D-pad. Hey, cool. So that is, uh, well, it's not visualizing any sound, uh, but it sure looks cool. Oh, here we go. So now, as it picks up the volume of my voice, it starts to change colors. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Okay, uh, and then last but not least is particle. Okay, and then last but not least is particle flow, which is just a cool animation, I guess. I don't know if it's reactive in any way. But uh, sure looks neat. Okay, so those are the different light modes. Uh, I would like to go back to, ooh. Okay, so that's cool. I just accidentally changed the flow by changing the direction on the D-pad. So I can go left, I can go right. Does this thing have an accelerometer? No, okay. Or if it does, it's not being currently utilized. You go up, and it's a lot of down. Oh, I feel like I can't get up to click. Well, okay. Anyway. So maybe each one has like two different modes, which is what your, what these buttons are for. Toggling between those two modes. But I would like to go back now oh okay so there's Perlin mode and that's just kind of a light show Let's see what the d-pad does on that can't tell I can't tell what you're doing okay moving on uh, all right so select the one that looks like this well that's the one we're on uh, press a, which is, I guess we are operating on uh, regular Nintendo rules where the A button is on the right and the B button is on the left. So if we hit A, then we get that craziness. It's pretty cool. Uh, and then if we hit the joystick. All right, so we got a little description here. Perlin noise is an algorithm. It's used to create textures and landscapes in animations, movies, uh, and games like Minecraft. So, uh, sure, <laughs> if you say so. Uh, yeah, so I can't really quite figure out what the joystick does in relation to the animation. But I'm gonna hit the A button to change the colors. That's cool. Now we got a little more purple in there. I'm not sure how much of that shows up on the stream. 
Uh, and then if I hit the B button, it takes me back to the menu. So that's cool. So now this is all just like built-in stuff. This is just, it's out of the box. This is what it's programmed to do. But I'm assuming at a certain point, we'll be able to take it to a whole new level. Uh, I don't know how much of that we're really going to be able to dig into today because this thing seems like pretty complex, which is awesome, but uh, also a little bit daunting. So, okay, so the sound visualizer, we already kind of played with this. We're going to go to the next mode. The sound visualizer uses the Pixel Kit's microphone to turn sound into sight. Now, I didn't even see the microphone on here. Let's see if we can spot it on the board. I don't know. Ah, you know what? If I had to guess, I'd say the microphone is up here. There's three little vents, probably to let in sound. That's my guess, but I don't know. Okay. Sound visualizer uses your Pixel Kit's microphone to turn sound into light. So, make some noise and see how your device reacts. So I'm gonna hit, what do I have to do? I have to hit A. There we go, we're making noise. There we go. That's cool. And then you can hit up to change the colors, up and down. Whoa, oh, that, there you go. So that's actually more of a green. It looks white on my little preview window. That is another darker green. That's a blue like a darker blue almost a purple that's like more of a purple and then that's a red so you got your you got your Roy G Biv your uh, colors of the rainbow okay and then uh, we, we have already been through this but we'll go on to the next one over to particle flow we're gonna hit a on that and we are flowing some particles so oh okay so when I was messing with this earlier I was trying to go up down left right so you do um, left and right to control the flow of the particles so you can push the particles from the left to the to the right the up and down uh, those control the speed so if I want to slow them way down I can slow them way down or let's see what happens if I speed them way up I want them to go nuts uh, go nuts so that's pretty cool uh, and I think that's pretty much it. These points of light drift across the light board, leaving a trail of color like shooting stars. All right. Groovy. Okay, so let's try a different mode. We're going to go into game mode. So to do that, we need to, uh, we need to change that dial. So we're going to stand it up. And game mode is the one that looks like a, like a DS or a Switch or something. So, so we'll do that. We'll go back to, uh, I think overhead's the easiest for you to see. Okay, let's start with Super Snake. Oh man, I like Snake. So Snake is a really old game. It used to come on cell phones before cell phones had color screens. And it was like the only game you could get on your cell phone. Uh, so Snake was a bit of a big deal. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, here we go. Snake was first released in 1978. So make no mistake. There were no cell phones in 1978. I just want to be perfectly clear about that. We were not running around with with cell phones in 78. Uh, but it eventually, it's a simplistic game, so eventually got uh, put on early cell phones. All right. Ask your parents. To, uh, stop judging me. Okay. The same rules still apply today. Eat the apples. Don't hit your tail. So, okay. I will try not to get sucked into a full-length game of Snake because I love Snake. But basically you go right, and you gotta eat the apples, and each one that you eat makes your snake a little longer. And then eventually, and you have to keep going until you don't hit your tail. Um, and eventually your tail is gonna get so long that it actually gets really hard to avoid eating your own tail. AKA Ouroboros, Ouroboros, however you wanna pronounce it is a symbol for infinity but it also means game over all right you're learning stuff here whether you want to or not you're learning so like i said i'm gonna try not to get completely sucked into this game but it's one of the best games ever made and you're probably watching me like really but you just wait you check one of these out from the library with your library card and you come back and tell me you didn't love playing snake 
The snake is the best. And I'm trying really hard to quit, but I just... I'm doing so well, I don't want to quit. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. Walking away. As far as the game is concerned, I'm undefeated. So, I am snake champion until, uh, until further notice, basically. Okay, so we're on, so this is a menu. I guess you can tell the menu by the, like, the swirling pattern that goes around the, the border of the screen, so that's cool. Uh, Rainbow Runner is a space adventure. Switch lanes, avoid white meteors, and grab the flashing fuel crystals. Uh, swoosh. It, it literally, <laughs> I'm sorry, it literally says, uh, swoosh. Can we focus? Yeah. Swoosh. Okay, so that was not, I just wanted to make sure people understood that that wasn't editator editorializing on my part. Alright, I actually don't know this game or how to play it. So let's see how well I do on my first try. Uh, well, that's cool. You can cross from one side of the map to the other. Now, this is playing a lot like Snake, I have to say. I think this might just be Snake. Did I make a mistake? I think I made a mistake. <laughs> how awesome would it have been if I played an entire game of Snake? Without realizing I was playing the wrong game. Okay, so this one is called Rainbow Runner. Oh, okay, this looks a little bit more... Alright, I gotcha. This is basically like Nyan Cat. Um, so you want to avoid the white asteroids. Do you want to get the... But you, you want the fuel crystals? Well, so far I haven't done anything and I'm winning. So I feel like I'm basically the best at this. Oh, okay, okay, I gotcha. Fuel crystals are... Can I move forward and... I can't really move forward and backwards. So I'm, I am in the middle, and I'm just, like, doing doing my thing. That looks like a fuel crystal. <laughs> I don't know what just happened, but I think... I think that was a power-up. I think that's what we thought it was. Oh. Yeah, okay, so this is pretty good. I can see zoning out to this, and, uh, yeah. Got, like, three lanes, top, middle, bottom. Whoa, okay. Pretty cool. What's next? Oh, Breakout. So Breakout is another super, super old game. It's been on everything. I think, um, I remember playing Breakout on the original black and white iPod with the scroll wheel. The, yeah. Uh, so bounce the ball using the paddle and smash your way through the wall. So, let's see, here we go. So this one is all about, you gotta move the paddle to deflect the ball, and sometimes the ball can get pretty squirrely. But you see, I'm slowly chipping away at that wall. Ah, oh, I lost, okay. I was never very good at breakout, to be quite honest. Okay, so I think that might be it for the pre-built games. Okay, so now it is time to code your own creation. So this is the part that I was uh, nervous about. So, <laughs> so let's just jump into it. Okay, so first thing that we need to do is we need to turn the dial to 1. So I'm assuming that the way this works is that you've got uh, three spots on the dial where you can kind of save your stuff. Uh, so, and you can have like three different programs basically on the ready, ready to rock and roll. Uh, so, so yeah, let's see what we need to do. Let's go overhead. Okay. You'll make your own games, animations, and more. Let's fire up the Kano app. So we're going to do that over here on the laptop. Here we go. Okay, so on the laptop, we are going to go to kano.me slash app. I don't know if we can remember. Now, the laptops have a bunch of built-in software from Kano already on them, so I don't know if it's going to use that or if it's going to kind of do its own thing. I'm not sure. We'll find out. This is the first time we've ever used it or done any of it. So we're going to go to kano.me slash app. Is that right? Yeah. What's going to happen? Uh, let me get some of this stuff off the screen so you can actually see what I'm looking at here. 
Okay, so which Kano kit are you using? We are using this one, the Pixel Kit. So we're clicking on it. And we are on Windows. And, uh, uh oh. It's trying to get us to download the Kano app. We already have the Kano app, so I'm thinking maybe that's where we're gonna go. Uh, so if you go, if you're on one of our, um, if you're on one of our computers, uh, let me get this off the screen. What's going on here? Okay, here we go. You go to the start menu, which is in the corner. It's a little Windows icon, and if you hover over it, it says start. And uh, from there, uh, you can go, um, you see all these options. Um, and so Kano stuff is kind of right here. So we've got the Harry Potter coding one. We've got uh, Kano projects. Uh, there's an art one. There's uh, some built-in ones. So I'm going to hit Kano projects and we'll see if we can get lucky. Hopefully we can do this because um, because we can't install stuff on the Kano laptop, unfortunately. Uh, the other thing I think uh, I'm going to do is I think we need to plug this thing in. Uh, and maybe that will help help the computer be like, oh, you got one of these? No problem, I know what to do. So I'm gonna unfurl this uh, USB cable and we'll get that connected over here. So we're just gonna plug this in so now there are USB ports uh, on the top, but that's not what we want. We want this other USB port over here on the side. It's called a micro USB port. It is smaller. So we're gonna plug that in, and then we're going to plug that into the side of the laptop. And we're gonna wait a second while it recognizes it, which hopefully will happen. See something popping up. Oh, that's just, okay, I don't know what that was. <laughs> oh good, you're not looking at my screen. Okay, so let's see what we can do. If this doesn't work, we'll give this a try. If this doesn't work, then we'll plug it into the streaming PC I have here, but that would make me kind of sad to not be able to do this on the actual, uh, on the actual computer, you know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. So I am going to um, I'm going to try downloading this app, which will hopefully. If you can download it through the Microsoft Store, you're good to go. But uh, yeah, so let's see if this is what we need. I got to sign in real quick. It's always my favorite part, is when it forces me to sign into something. So, yeah, how's everybody doing this morning? I can definitely say uh, definitively that I have not not had enough coffee this morning. So, so I'm, I'm trying in the energy department. I'm trying. I know you guys are all caffeinated. I'm like, woo, let's go. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so we are now, uh, let me switch back over so you can see what I'm doing. So we are now downloading I'm not sure how big this app actually is. But hopefully this is the app that we need. It seems like it. I'm going to go back to the website. And the logo is the same. So that... Uh, I think this is it. But So I will make sure to get this app downloaded on all of the PNG Kano laptop PCs so that you don't have to deal with this. Um, and they'll just be ready to go. But this is the first time we've ever taken this thing out of the box, so I actually had no idea, you know, kind of what software it needed. Um, so there we go. We are just about done installing, downloading and installing. I'm going to shrink this down, close some of this stuff back here. 
So these are all the Kano apps that are loaded on the uh, computer here. Um, so the one that we needed that wasn't downloaded was called Kano Code. So now we've got that and uh, should be good. I'm going to X out of that. And I see we're ready to launch, so I'll launch that. And at the same time, I'm going to close some of this other stuff. All right. So I hope this is what we need. Computer's doing some thinking. It's like, hold on, what is this? I'm trying to figure this out. Marr. Okay, so if we look back at our overhead uh, situation here. We are plugged in, and I am praying that we got the right, praying that we got the right uh, app installed. We've got some other stuff about how to use it and whatnot but I guess that is it so once we're on the computer we're on our own so that's that's terrifying all right let's do this <laughs> let's get in here um, so I've got a thing I want to use it Kano code new creation yeah start again sure oh okay I see I see I see Um, so, I was hoping for a little bit more of a guide, <laughs> right? No? I'm going to try unplugging the Kano, the, uh, the Pixel Kit and just plugging it right back in. Hoping a little recognition might go a long way. But, uh, I was also hoping there might be something in the challenges section. With the pixel kit. I mean, this is all stuff that you can totally do with the uh, with the with the. Um, what am I trying to say? With the laptop, you don't need anything to 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 participate and do any of these activities. I am looking specifically for pixel kit activities. And I'm not seeing any, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the Windows Store. And we're gonna look up. We're gonna search for Kano, and just make sure I'm not missing something. So we have Kano code. That's what we just downloaded. There's Kano Hub. We have that as well. And yeah, that's it. So we have the other ones, Harry Potter one, Frozen, Star Wars, we got those. So I thought this would be the one that we needed, but instead we're getting slowed down here. This is riveting content, but it all comes with the, you know, sometimes you take, you un, you take something out of the box and you try to set it up for the first time and it doesn't always go super, super fast and smooth. Sometimes there are road bumps, so hopefully we are, are learning uh, about that. <laughs> Uh, like I said, if, if I, if I can't get anything going here in the next couple of minutes, I will, uh, I will switch over to the stream PC. Um, let's see what, now this is already loaded. Okay. Let's go back here to, uh, one of these kind of projects. This is kind of a hub, which I think we were just on a minute ago, but, uh, We'll find it, figure this out. By the way, these Kano PC laptops have Minecraft loaded in them, so I'm gonna do a quick search for Pixel Kit. There we go, 10 things you could do with your Pixel Kit. Uh, I think these are just web results, unfortunately. It's kind of... But hey, there's our Pixel Kit. Okay, okay. Okay, it really is. Try out now with Kano Code. So, 
So we were in the right place. I think we just were really, I was hoping for more of a guided kind of uh, experience. So this is really going to be, for those of you who have done our other coding activities, if you're already like pretty confident about coding, um, then I think you'll be pretty, pretty at home here. Um, if you are a complete beginner, this might be a little bit rough for you. So I think this is gonna be for the older kids, for the coders. Uh, but in the end, this is block coding. So what do we got? We've got, uh, let's see. Let's take a look at some of the stuff that we can do. We got, these are all different categories. So we've got your logic and we did have an hour of code um, we did have an hour of code episode here on PNG Online a few months ago, so go go back and check that out where we went over to code.org and we learned all about how to block code and the basics. Um, so I think that's gonna come into play here now. So let's see what we can do with uh, let's see what we can do with some of this stuff. So let's nest this inside here. Oh, that doesn't nest. That's not compatible code. Uh, Let's see if we can like maybe push some changes here. Let's do 100. Let's see if we can change this to be completely red. And I should also point out, I'm not a, a coder. I, I don't know anything about coding. Um, I know how to go to the website and learn about coding. <laughs> so I am always trying to encourage you guys to learn how to code. Um, because it's something that I'm not very good at. Um, and I can point you in the right direction. But that is about it. So let's add a, mm, let's see if we can add some text. So, oh, that's, uh, that's over here. We don't want that. Okay, so what happens if we run this? Oop, no, no, no. All right. This is gonna take some more, ah, I lost my thing. This is gonna take some more uh, practice. I, I really thought, um, ooh, what's this? Pixel motion. What else you got? All right, I'm clicking on this. I don't know if it's gonna open up something different. But I just wanted to check it out, honestly. It sounded cool. It looks cool. I don't know what it is. Okay. I don't want to log in. <laughs> so we are already at an impasse. I'm going to say, I'm a parent. No, I see, I see. Okay, let's go back. I'm a creator. So I have found, if you encounter stuff like this, I have found, unless you want to like share your creation, you can, it doesn't matter. You can just make up whatever you want. You might need to, um, you might need to remember your password if you wanted to like export um, your work or save it for later. But if you just want to jump in and mess around and see what you can do, you don't, I can just hit start creating and be like, forget about this. Uh, let's see. Ah, Kano Club member. I don't know what that is. Didn't know that that was a thing. So I'm going to start a seven day free trial. And uh, this just looks like Photoshop. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. All right. Hooray. Good deal. Can you, okay, film strip, like I'm making an animated thing. Well, this is cool, but uh, not what I had in mind. Bogus. Well, we are running out of time here. So let's switch over to the streaming PC and I'll, I'll try to figure this out another day. But uh, if we switch back over to screen and webcam, there we go. This computer 
And we had to go to, what was the that URL that we were supposed to go to? And I'll download that program real fast and see what we can do. I think I had the right app. I just want to make sure before we close out the stream. So, let's go to... Because, uh, I don't know that I, ex that I explained it well enough, but for all of these um, coding kits, the Star Wars, the... Harry Potter, the Frozen 2, and this Pixel kit. Um, you can do any of this on any computer. We try to provide the PNG laptops to make things even easier, but if you've got your own computer at home, you can just, uh, you'll need to download the software, so you'll probably need uh, somebody to help you do that, but um, if you just check out the kit, um, you should be okay. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and I'm just going to cut away from this for the moment. You can check out all that stuff um, while I install this app. should go by pretty quickly. Thanks for your patience. I know this is riveting. But this thing is pretty cool. Let's flip it over to, yeah. So I mean, at the very least, even if you don't want to code for it, um, it's got some cool games. You can make it do cool stuff. Visualize your sound waves and all that. So, I mean, it could be fun just to mess around with. And if you are into coding, boy, I really think the sky's the limit on what you'll be able to, to do with that. Run animations, code games. Um, so. Okay, I think we are in business here. Oops, that's not the right. Where are we at? Here we go. Uh, oh, hang on, hang on. How about this one? Yeah, cool. All right, so the screen's down here in the corner, and you can keep an eye on what this guy's doing. Okay. I'm just going to put in, I am Aaron. And uh, we got a pixel kit. Oh, I got a plug. I, we were plugged into the wrong computer. Do I have a free USB port? That. Oh boy, I've got so much stuff plugged into this thing, I did not even stop to consider. Uh, hang on one second. <laughs> uh, all right, I got a... Oh man, I do not have a free USB port on this computer. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven USB devices plugged into this laptop. And uh, I even have a hub. What can I unplug? Is there anything that I can get away with unplugging? Hmm. What does this go to? <laughs> oh, this is a fun game to play during a stream. Ah, you know what? I've got a mouse here that I am not using, so let's get rid of that. Okay. Sorry, mouse. That also means i got to drag this pixel kit like way off screen, so sorry about that. But the cord's not going to reach. Okay, well, when I plugged it in, let me see if I can let's do some camera rearranging here. So we're, we're done with the Pixel Kit for the moment. Okay, overhead camera just crashed. I think maybe it's time to end this stream and leave well enough alone. <laughs> but. We'll try to stick it out for another couple of minutes. I gotta extricate myself and stuff. Okay, so when I plugged in here, when I plugged in here, we got we we originally got a charging animation on the screen here, so that was kind of cool. Uh, let's see, overhead camera, you got all messed up, didn't you? Okay, come on, man, get it together. Try to get you over there. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, we're just doing a little impromptu, uh, impromptu business here on the fly. So let's. We're gonna plug this in. Oop. Yeah. So there you go. There's the little. That was a little charging thing. All right, so we're gonna add a Kano kit here. We got videos. We've got exciting, exciting things happening on the screen. So 
that's cool. All right, in the interest of time, though, we've wasted so much. I'm gonna skip this. Uh, all right. Yes, I have built the kit. We did it together. All right, uh, yep, we are connected. Okay, so like this is what I was expecting. I'm sorry, this is what I was totally expecting. All right, connect your Pixel Kit to the same network as the computer. All right, uh, hang on one sec, because I'm probably gonna have to put in the staff password, and I don't want you to see that. Mm -mm -mm. You can't hear my keystrokes because I'm talking over the microphone. All right, we're connecting. Where are we at? There we go. Are we getting any of that on the screen? No. You can now control it from anywhere in your home. Well, that's pretty cool. So uh, theoretically, if you checked out the PNG laptop, well, PNG laptop wasn't working, so never mind. I'm just going to save that thought. All right. Once again, we got to register some stuff, which doesn't matter unless you want to like pick up later and and resume. So you can create an account. Oh, I can't create. Can't do spaces. Come on, man. Come on. Spaces are characters, too. Elm Whoop Dark. All right. All right. Okay, yes, I'm ready to code. Let's do this. Pixel Kit and related software contain flashing lights. All right. You've been warned. Oh, this is what I am talking about. This is great. Although now I feel like we don't have enough time to really dig into this. But, uh, so I'll have to put maybe a thing on, unless I can figure out how to make it work with the Kano PC laptop that we offer, I might have to put something in the record to tell people like, hey, you gotta have like a, a regular computer, Mac or PC, but our laptops are a little bit stripped down, um, so. But yeah, this is what I was looking for. So I would like to get, let me get a, um, let me get a screen. Yeah, let me get a screen, uh, overhead and, uh, nope, not like that. Uh, screen, action, where you at? Where are you? Well, that's pretty good. I wish I had the opposite of that. I wish I had screen with action. I totally programmed that a while ago. All right, I'll stop whining about it. Uh, maybe at some point I'll try to make the thing a little bigger. Um, so you can see it. Let's get right in here. Let's get right in here. You're getting a lot of inside baseball information here because I was not able to prepare for these camera angles. Okay, so I'm gonna switch. When the when the pixel kit starts doing something, I'll switch back. Okay. We're just gonna follow the prompts here. Uh, let's see, turn on all the lights, open the light board tray. Oh, I'm so excited, this is what I was talking about. Okay, open the light board tray. We're gonna slide that in there. Uh, oh, we did, we did, we did, we did. Go back, okay. Yep, so we got all of the lights. Uh, let's turn on a single pixel. So we're going to open the light board tray, we're going to light, we're going to connect it to this block right here. Cool. Turn on the lights one and one. So remember, we've talked about this before, you got your x-axis and your y-axis, so we're just saying like one x1, y1. Um, so now we could change this to be like x23, x2. Oh, you know what? 16 by eight. So 23 doesn't work because we got 16. So if I could I put in 16, I can put in, uh, let's see, 16 and four. That'd be like halfway down. Let's do eight and four. Yeah, check that out. That's cool. All right. Four, six, nice. Okay, uh, change it to eight. Oh, it's waiting for me to change it to eight. I wasn't paying attention, I got so excited. 
Okay, well done. That's how you light up the pixel board. All right, moving on. Uh, I'm getting awards, so that's exciting. Unlocking achievements, everybody loves that, right? So, okay, keep it, keep it moving. We are running low on time. We are actually out of time, but uh, let's do one more challenge. Do, do. Let's use loops to make ep epic animations. Okay, sounds good. Are we still just lighting up like one? No, okay, it's it's no longer. <laughs> okay, uh, you're gonna use this, you're, you're, blah, 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 blah. you're gonna use a loop, which is a code block that runs over and over and over and over and over. So we're gonna open up the control tray. We're gonna slide that over. All right, open up the light board tray, slide that over, and then we're gonna turn on a single light. So open up the light, ah, open up the light board tray, grab a single light. Uh, I'd like to do, oh, okay, cool. So behind my head here, uh, you've got a, a, like a readout of, of what's going on on your, on your pixel kit. So you can see that, and you can also toggle the JavaScript on anytime you want. If you want to see what the actual code is, so that's exciting. Um, and so I'm gonna do, uh, do, 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 do. Oh, we're gonna do a random block. Cool. So we're going to grab this math block, bring that in, slot that on the X. So a random number from one to ten. Uh, so you can kind of see what it's thinking about doing over here on the right hand side. Uh, so you kind of have these random blocks popping up, doing their thing on the x-axis. So now we'd like to kind of maybe do that uh, on the y-axis. So the light board is 16 pixels, so we need to change this. It's preset to 10, but we're going to change that to 16. And, doo -doo -doo. and then we can also change the duration of time from seconds to milliseconds to frames, so we'll do frames because that's what it's telling us to do, I don't know why. Uh, now, use another random block to fill the entire board. So we're gonna grab that again. We're gonna put that on the Y axis. And we need to do zero to eight. So we'll do eight. And let's see what that looks like. Hey, that's bananas. All right, so just like you use the random number block, you can do a random color. So we'll, we'll hit this, we'll grab the color, and we'll slot that in here in the set color area. And then you got all kinds of stuff. So that's pretty cool. That's a random loop, and it's an animation. Uh, so you get your achievements, which is fun. And... Uh, Okay, and then you can also save stuff up here. So if you make something that you really like and you're proud of, you can save that and um, you know share it, all that kind of stuff. So even though I know I feel like we just scratched the surface, maybe we'll try to do this again. But honestly, I would rather just get this uh, cataloged, and I'll put a link in the um, I'll put a link in the blog post uh, so that you can check this thing out. Remember this one? So I'll add a new one there. Uh, oh, sorry, probably can't see that. So I'll add a new link right here and then you'll be able to check that out and get going and um, and start making your own stuff rather than me, because I only got one of these. So I'd rather send it out and let people play with it and, and I'll stop uh, hogging it. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign off for today. This has been Project Next Generation Online. We were taking a look at the Pixel Kit, the Kano Pixel Kit, and um, I just want to thank you for watching. Thanks to the State Library of Illinois for providing the grant money that pays for all of this stuff, and uh, the Elmwood Park Public Library for giving us a spot to do it. Um, and thank you very much for watching. And just to tease, next week I think we got a very large package in the mail. 
over where are you nope not over there over there we got that package from Czechoslovakia so tune in next week and I think we will take a look at what's in that box we'll open it all up we'll do another unboxing video because why not uh, just kind of showing off all the cool stuff we have here at PNG um, things are looking good in terms of phase 5 reopening after this pandemic so hopefully we'll be able to offer some in-person classes and you can come here to the library to play with all of our awesome uh, stuff very soon I'll keep you posted on that follow us on uh, on YouTube on and visit our, our blog to always get the latest you can always go here uh, which is linked off of uh, our website um, so yeah that's all I got uh, I have been Aaron Sievers I want to thank you again for watching and we will catch you again real soon okay bye everybody